For generations, traveling through the valley meant hitching up a horse and wagon, paying a toll, and riding on the Valley Turnpike, one of the most scenic and historic highways anywhere in Virginia, or the country for that matter. It has been superseded today uh, by Interstate 81, but it was the Interstate 81 of its time. It's a window on the past, a piece of American history, a treasure chest of transportation memories. There is really only one way to see the valley, and that's down Route 11, that's down the Valley Pike. You can see farmlands, you can see church steeples, you can see towns. Long before white settlers traveled the road, Native Americans were here in the valley, hunting game, gathering food, and raising families. For thousands of years, they made the Shenandoah Valley their home. They recognized it for what it was, a natural corridor through the Appalachian Mountains. You can say there would be an, been a prehistoric Route 11. William Gardner is an archaeologist who has excavated Indian sites in the Shenandoah Valley and written a book on the Native Americans' 12,000 years of history here. His book is called Lost Arrowheads and Broken Pottery, and he says much of what we know about ancient Native American history comes from spear points like this. We also know that Indians carved out footpaths near Route 11 all the way up till the 18th century. By the 1720s and 1730s, when European settlers began arriving, the Native Americans no longer lived here, but they still used the valley to hunt and fish. Putting it in a practical sense, it was too dangerous a place to live in, so as far as practical use, uh, you came in, you hunted, you got out, or you came through on a war path. If the Shenandoah Valley meant a hunting ground or a passageway for Native Americans, it meant open space and cheap land for European settlers. Settlers of German, English, and Scots-Irish descent. By the 1720s, conditions had grown crowded in William Penn's colony to the north. Virginia, west of the formidable Blue Ridge Mountains, was ripe for immigration. 